From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. For everyone out there that disagrees, change the channel. You're not worth it. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's another kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And look at this story from the New York Post. This is from the New York Post. If American women could choose between having Jennifer Aniston's bikini body Jennifer Aniston, typical New York. Jennifer Aniston over the hill, way past her expiration date, um, was last popular back in the 90s, if I recall correctly. <laughs> the New York Post just got around to Jennifer Aniston. They just stopped writing about Meg Ryan. Now they've moved on to Jennifer Aniston. Because in New York, where you got a bunch of fat and fugly ball busters, oh, they love those aging chicks with the turkey necks. They just think that's fantastic. That's who they think is hot. If American women could choose between having Jennifer Aniston's bikini body or a million dollars, three out of four would take the money and run. That's because it's Jennifer Aniston. How about Adriana Lima? <laughs> How about somebody really, really, really hot today as opposed to somebody who people might have thought was hot 10 years ago? Ugh. All right. Well, they didn't ask about Jennifer Aniston. It was just the New York Post that put her name in there. Says here, that's one of the eye-opening findings of an online poll by Woman's Day magazine and something called AOL Body. My AOL body. Imagine the body of the average woman on AOL. <laughs> they asked 6,905 women questions about their body image and health care concerns. 57% said they considered themselves overweight. And that's the women who admitted to it on AOL body. 30% admitted feeling uncomfortable and ashamed about their bodies. Got to keep that going. And 37% said their fondest wish was, quote, to be thinner. But it says here, gaining a fat bank account trumps all of these weighty feelings, according to the magazine's February 12th issue. It asks its readers... If you could choose, would you? Oh, they did ask about Jennifer Aniston here. If you could choose, would you rather have Jennifer Aniston's physique or be a millionaire? I'd rather have the money, declared 78% of the respondents, while the other 22% said they'd like to look like Jennifer. That skews the whole poll. Let's, let's be honest. Anybody seen Jennifer Aniston recently? I don't know. She'll be one of those actresses like Holly Hunter. She'll be saying, they don't write roles for women my age. And they'll be coming soon. <laughs> you know those articles. And it says here that go for the dough approach makes perfect sense to Jane Chestnut, Women's Day editor-in-chief, who noted that these savvy women want to have their cake and eat it too. Get it? They're probably thinking, I'll take the million dollars, I'll use part of it to pay off a trader to get me into shape, and I'll have some money left over, she said. Wait a minute, let me stop this story right there. That's not right. That's wrong. It's not true. Let me explain. The reason that women answer the question this way is as follows. 
If a woman has a million dollars, she doesn't need to be thin. If a woman has a million dollars, she doesn't need a man. The reason women, this is what I've been telling you all along, women get married to you. They, in this country, they chop their hair off. They gain 50, 75, 100 pounds. That's what they do. Because now they got a man paying the bills. As soon as the man kicks them out of the house, divorces them, they head back to the gym, lose the weight to get another sucker to come in. When women are thin, it is just to attract guys. And once they've got a guy to pay the bills, they, they, they go back to being the fat cows they were before. That is why women answer the question this way. That is why women would rather have a million dollars than to look like Jennifer Aniston. If you have a million dollars, you don't have to look like Jennifer Aniston or anybody who's attractive uh, in the 21st century. Right? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I've been listening to you, and that is the best advice. Keep her out of the house. Oh, my God. She tried to. She's like, oh, I, I need a place to stay for, for just a week. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Go stay with one of your gay friends. No, no. That's right. That's right. Stay with one of your gay friends is a good answer. I like that. It's the Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show at 1 800 5800 Tom. The New York Post. Repeating the results of a survey by Woman's Day magazine and by something called AOL Body. And in this survey, <laughs> 78% of women said they'd rather have a million dollars than to have Jennifer Aniston's body. I say the answer to that is simple. Of course that's true, because if they had a million dollars, they could just be big, fat cows uh, like we know women would rather be. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Brent on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 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 Yeah, I just wanted to say that, yeah, I think you're right about that, that uh, it's probably because they want to let themselves go. But I don't see how it's relevant when it comes to men and women because uh, men would do the same thing. Well, men already let themselves go for the most part. I mean, it's not like it's not like men. Uh, you really think that if uh, uh, it would make a difference if a man got a million dollars or not what he looked like? No, I'm saying that uh, if you ask that poll to a bunch of men, why would men want to look like Jennifer Aniston? No, not Jennifer Aniston. You well, know what you I'm said saying. that poll. That's what the poll says. Uh, okay, well, being literal, if uh, you asked a, a bunch of guys about Brad Pitt, they'd probably be about the same amount that would. Take yeah, but the difference the difference is most guys don't are don't have bodies like Brad Pitt. There are many women who have bodies, uh, at least if not uh, in appearance, the size of Jennifer Aniston. No, that's true. That's true. But they would like right. they would love just forget about it and become blimps. Seventy eight percent of women would rather be blimps, and if they had a million dollars, they could be blimps. Well, if I had a million dollars, that could be a blimp too. But uh, I no, don't. but you can be a you can be a blimp anyway. Uh, no, I'm not actually. No, but, but you can be. Yeah, I can. The reason you are not a blimp is not because you don't have a million dollars. Well, it's a, it's a lot easier if I do though. Uh, I I, you know. I don't agree with that because you see, women do not choose a man according to what he weighs. They love no, to say they do, about but they were it's they, about what he's worth. Right, they, they, that's my point. Looking, but what I'm saying is. Uh, yeah, you're right. All I'm saying is you're equating those guys, those women to men in a lot of ways, and it's human nature more than it is men versus women. What I'm trying to say is that women would prefer, if they had the choice, women would all be a bunch of fat pigs. And you see that as evidenced by the way they, when they get married, they, they cut off all their hair and they chunk up like big fat cows. Well, that's what, that's what women, they, that's they what women up. want. They would let themselves go and, and try to be themselves, whatever that is. Uh, what they would try to be comfortable with themselves. Generally yeah. fat. In well, this country, I, generally fat. Look around. Generally, generally yeah, fat. I, I agree. I, I picked me on. Uh, and how many women did you see? One. How many women have you seen who look great until they got married? Um, quite a few. Right. And then when women get divorced or they get dumped by their boyfriends, don't they all head to the gym? But guys will do the same thing. I no, see it every day. No, but it, see, guys either go to the gym or they don't. And I don't think guys go to the gym to attract women. I think guys go to the gym because they, they want to. 
Well, yeah, but guys got to deal with more of like finicky women going out. I, I don't like the muscles, or I want them toned a certain way. You know, it's it's it's. Uh, you know, you're you're, you're 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 really making this more complicated than it is. I, I, what I'm trying to tell you is that women would prefer to be fat, and if they had money, they would be fat. They would be. The reason, the only, if your wife is 117 pounds, it's because she's afraid you'll leave her and then her bills won't get paid. If she's not afraid you'll leave her, she'll be a big fat cow. That That's what's going on in this country, no doubt about it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Danielle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Oh, come on, man. Why would you say that? It's because money, it's I true. Love you. I just, first off, i got to say I love you. My thank husband you. turned me on to you, and I totally thank you for saving our marriage. That's all I got to say. Wow. Yes, definitely. He gets it every time he asks for it, whenever he wants. That's good. Yes, definitely. But the thing is, I would rather have a million dollars in Jennifer Aniston's body, and that's because I look good already, and I would never let myself go because my husband doesn't deserve a fat pig. Yeah, but, but look around you, Danielle. Tomorrow morning when you're over there at Vaughn's, uh, take a look around at the produce section and see the other women who are there. Uh, yes. These women I are big fat pigs you. because they have husbands. They have husbands who are paying mm. the bills. Yes, and, and I feel sorry for their husbands. Well, well that, I feel sorry for any husbands. Anybody who decides to be a husband, I feel sorry for them. Oh, uh, but my husband must be married, you know. But that's a different topic. We don't have to say that. You know, but I just thought that... I, I, if I had a million dollars, I would definitely make sure my body looked great. I would would never let myself go if I had a million dollars ever. That's very nice to hear, but you're only 23, dear. Let's see what happens down the line. I have a baby. I have a baby as well. No wonder you're married. How? Huh? No wonder you're already married. No, I was married before I got pregnant. Wow, what century are you calling from? <laughs> well, you know, I come from a good family, and oh, you know, so. okay. But can you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? Yes, I can. Here you go. Thank you, Jesus. Here is Monica on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I barely ever listen to your show. But you just happen to be tuned in today. It's a, just another That's coincidence. Right. You never listen, but today was the day <laughs> you happened to tune in. That's right. There wasn't anything It else happened going to be the day that I was talking about something you cared about. You never listened, but today was the day. That's right. You happened to be listening. Mm-hmm. I so don't believe I just it, want but... To comment. I, I agree with the last caller. I, I would take a million dollars. Um, I don't think Jennifer Aniston's body is that great. I think she she's kind of let herself go over the years. Um, well, plus, she's your mom's age. Kind of. So, but I, you know, I don't think that's a good test. I think they should ask for, uh, you know, you know, they should make maybe like, would you want a million dollars or would you want, I don't know, Heidi Klum's body? Or they should just take, uh, you know, women who are hot uh, today, exactly. women in Maxim today. That's right. But those names down. I don't down. know why they would say Jennifer Aniston. I don't think she's a good example of what. Probably because the average has. woman who reads Women's Day. Probably uh -huh. thinks Jennifer Aniston is still in vogue. Yeah, I don't really get that. I don't know what her attraction is. I think she's an okay actress, but I, I just don't really get it. Um, but what I want to tell you, Tom, also is, first of all, I have two kids. I'm 28, and I would never let myself go. I think it's because yeah. But I'm do in the you business, think but... do you think you're normal? No, I, I think All I'm right. very so you agree. Right. So you agree with what I'm saying. Regardless of the fact that you think you're an exception to the rule, you agree with me on what the rule is. Generally in this country, when women get married, they get fat. But I don't know if that's just they've always been lazy because I don't understand the whole concept of getting married and then letting yourself go. I because the idea it. of women looking good in most cases, and this isn't the Monica show, we're talking about women in general. Right. Uh, is in order to, to, to convince some sucker to sign the contract to get married. And once you've accomplished that, there's no need to work out anymore or look good anymore or watch what you eat anymore. But then you could lose your husband or he can cheat on and you. And look at the divorce. By there. the way, look at the divorce rate. I, I think my, uh, my case is made. 
I just don't, I don't understand. I think it's it's women who've always had an issue not taking care of themselves. Well, it isn't always because at some point they look good enough for some sucker to agree to marry them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's terrible. But <laughs> it's true. But it's true. Think about it. But it's true. But it's true. We're not pride. talking about you. It's true for mm. most women in this country. Well, I think most women in this country are overweight. I travel. Yeah, overseas. but were they overweight? Were they o- no, no. were they overweight when they met a guy? And the answer generally is no. Mm. You see, you are, you you keep trying to deny me here, but you know I'm right. Well, if you go to the Midwest, I think so. But you know, I'm I'm in New York City a lot, and I just I find oh, that women take better care of themselves. I don't than I don't cities. agree with that, darling. You, you you've been between uh, uh, 59th Street and 96th Street on the east side of Manhattan. Mm-hmm. Okay, you get on the D train and head on down to Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and you tell me I'm wrong. That's possible. New York City is five boroughs, not just that little part of Manhattan you visit when you leave the hotel room. Mm. Yeah, I live there. Um. Yeah, but, how okay. often? How so often? You, how often? Did, how often did you? Else? How often did you leave Manhattan when you were in New York? Well, I mean, almost to go never. On a trip. Huh? Almost never. You're right. That's my point, darling. Hey, you have to go to <laughs> Queens or Brooklyn or Staten Island to see those gum chomping uh, monsters who have the can of Aquanet in their purse they bought okay, at Costco. So then let's go. Okay, then let's have deeper than that. I think it has to do with their upbringing, from their level of. Education. I don't care what the reason, is, darling. I don't care what the reason is. <sighs> I don't care what the reason is. So it's what? What's the difference what the reason is? I'm just saying, is it true? And the, the answer is, as you have in a very roundabout way finally agreed that what I'm saying is true. You just don't like admitting it. Okay. Right? Can we talk about something else? Yes, Tom, you're right. No, no, no. I, I, don't need to, I don't need you to patronize me. If you think I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. No, I think you're, you're right, but I think it's always been I, I do believe that the women who let themselves go when they get married or after marriage have underlying issues that have crippled their lives throughout. And I don't care what the do, why would we care what the reasons are? I don't care what the reasons. Okay, well I you know I don't I don't have Here's the fact. In front of me. Lots of chicks look hot until they meet a guy and then he marries them. You know there's a joke. I'm going to tell you this joke and it, this joke jokes Jokes are jokes, but they're frequently based on a, a basic truth. Would you agree? Uh, okay. Okay. Here's yeah. the joke. What dessert causes the most weight gain? Uh, that would be... Hmm, it's not ice cream? No. <laughs> what dessert? It's a joke. What dessert causes oh. the biggest weight gain? What dessert? Um... <laughs> I don't know. Wedding cake. Wedding cake. How funny. Yeah, but why is it funny? Because it's true. I just don't understand it. It's the fact that you it's don't understand it. And I'll never understand it. The fact so. that you don't understand it is not the issue. Is it true? I guess. I, I, I can't tell you. You guess. Friends, so. Darling, darling, you live here in Los Angeles. How yeah. often do you go to Food for Less or, or Vons or any uh, of the I big stay supermarkets? Away from those places. Do you ever go to a big supermarket? I, I, I go to Vons, yes. Oh, I do Vons. go to Vons from time to time. Have you ever looked around the other women at Vons? Yeah. What it's do they look like? Sad. Yeah. And would you say the vast majority of them are married? See, I don't even know. What do you think? <laughs> They're at Vons. I, I tell you what, Vons at 10 o'clock in the morning. Let's make it that Vons at 10 o'clock in the morning or noon. Somebody is at work paying for those fruits and vegetables. True. Right? And then comes big fat uh, cow in the stretch, uh, the floral stretch pants. But I'm thinking but she the was drooling, a cow before she got married. No, because what man would marry a cow? Another cow. No. I mean, that's no. my theory. I mean, no. a guy who doesn't no. have No, guys who marry cows, cows are not cows. Guys who marry cows are poor. <sighs> that's who. That's what kind of guy marries a cow. A poor guy. Hmm. Uh, they said men and women are not matched up according to who's fat and who's not. Uh, fat women are with poor guys. Hot chicks are with rich guys. True. 
Right. Okay. So now, have you ever seen women who are getting ready to get into that wedding dress and they, oh, they are slimming down and they are working out? Mm -hmm. They're doing everything they can to look good for that special day. Would you agree? Yeah. And then a few months later, you see them at Vons. What do they look like? Lesbified cows, big shut cause hair chopped off, weight gained, well, part sweat of the pants. Is these women have babies, and instead of hitting the gym after they have, I don't babies, care what the reason is. This is not a discussion about what the reason is for this. It, it, it it's true when women, before women get married, they are slim in order to attract a man. Then they get married and chunk up. Then when the guy kicks their ass out the door. That's a big inviting target. Just put a little bullseye right there, right there. Uh, then, then the woman goes back to the gym. Want any evidence of what I'm talking about? Go to the gym and see how many women who are currently married are at the gym. And, and I go to the gym, so I'm going to give you the answer. Very few. The women who go to the gym are either A, single, or B, just broke up with their boyfriend or husband. Mm. Would you agree with that? I guess. What do you mean I, you I guess? I can't relate. I can't relate. My I don't, we're not asking if you can relate to it. Plenty of things happen in life that I can't relate to, but I have to admit they're true, okay? Yeah. I, sad. <laughs> I, we're not talking about whether it's sad. Darling, I'm giving you a lesson in logic here. Men are all about logic and women are all about emotion. And you are proving my point here. <laughs> I don't really care whether you can understand it or what the reasons are, what the extenuating circumstances might be. You just admit when women get married, they look good. When they get after they get married, they look like crap. When they get dumped, they try to look good again. Wouldn't you agree? Regardless okay, of the right. reasons. Would you agree okay. with that? I guess, yeah. So, in this survey, where they ask a woman, would you rather have the body of Jennifer Aniston or a million dollars, it's no surprise that 78% of the women said a million dollars, because if they had a million dollars, they wouldn't need to look like Jennifer Aniston, and the only reason they need to look like Jennifer Aniston is to attract a guy who'll pay their bills. That I don't agree with at all. Oh, then, then what is the I reason? I don't agree that, that, that looking good has anything to do with money. Of course, you want to look good. It does have to do with money because, but again, why do women, why do women want to get, wait, 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 why do women want to get married? Huh? Why do women want a man to sign a contract to get married? The answer, though you may not like it, is so that they have quote unquote security. And what security really means, it means having a man paying the bills. Or at least sharing the bills. Isn't that right? I okay. That I could probably say I agree with. Isn't however, that great? Well, that that's my however, point. However, just because you have a million dollars does not mean that all of a sudden you can let yourself go. Yes, it does. Because the reason well, to look good is to attract a man. The, the reason women look good is to attract a man. Women want to get married. In order to get a guy to marry them, they try to look as good as they can. Once they get married, they don't look so good anymore. I think it has to do with money, and I think it has to do with attention. It I think does you can have, have all the money in the world. Women if don't need attention. Women you, don't need attention if they if they are married. I don't know about that. The reason a woman needs attention is because she's trying to attract suitors. So one of them will sign the contract and buy the cow rather than just taking the milk. Okay, I'm really different. <laughs> We're not talking about you. Mm. We're talking about all the other women, not you, okay? Okay. You are left out of the mix. <laughs> it's all the other chicks out there. Wouldn't you agree that they are like that? I guess so. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> People ask me why I don't want to be married. I want this to be Exhibit A, okay? Because yeah. this, folks, this is what being married is like every night. Art, take note of this, okay? <laughs> don't you ever get well, married because this, else, I've like been there, and this different. is it's what so being married is like. Well, if it's so boring, who made you call in? Who no, put a gun I mean, in your the head? Topic, the topic, to me, I, I want to talk about deeper issues. Fine. Call call a sports station if you want to talk about hockey. Hang no, on a second. No, Lynn, no, no. what did you want to talk to Monica about here? Hello? Yes. Hey, listen, nobody is that stupid, okay? Stop playing dumb. You're probably a fat cow calling in, pretending to be thin, saying, I can't relate. I don't relate. 
I'm a woman. I know what he's talking about. As much as sometimes I don't like what Tom says, it's totally true. Stop playing so effing stupid. I mean, uh, seriously, are you a fat cow? Not at all, but I just don't understand the idea of having that once you have a million dollars, it, it's no reason to. He's saying that if you had a million dollars, then you wouldn't have to, you know, you could let yourself go. That's not true because I have more than a million dollars and I would never let myself go okay. to the money. That's <laughs> I find that. I'm sorry. I'm not buying that either. That's the logic. What? You're saying that if somebody gives you $10 million, $20 million, $50 million, all of a sudden you're going to let yourself go? That you won't take good care of yourself? Okay. That's what the you're kind of saying argument is that I don't that understand. You don't understand that when women get married, how they let their self go. And that, by the way, that was a funny, funny joke about the wedding cake. <laughs> and it's so true. But I mean, I mean, but you're like, oh, I can't relate. I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't get it. Please. Nobody, I'm not buying it. Nobody's buying it. And Tom, I'm calling you, don't buy it. Because, I mean, either... I'm not saying it's not I, I mean, true. I don't even know why you're calling fact. in. So it's not, a, it's not a disagreement. I'm not saying it's not true. I don't have the statistics, but I don't think... Do you think it's think true? it's a sad fact. So you do. A fact I, means it's what? true, right? right? I live a sheltered life. I don't... I don't. I'm sorry. So we just wasted 14. Wait, let me understand. You just Hold said it's a, it's a sad thing. You bank. live in New York City. Tom, I'm sorry. You live in New York City. You have more than a million dollars, and you live a sheltered life. Oh, no, not my God. Sheltered. I don't hang out with people who are overweight that are letting themselves go. I hang out with driven people who want to look well, good. But do you think most people are like your friends? Do you think most people are like your friends? You know they're not. And if you lived Probably in New York, not, if you Tom, lived in New York, well, you know what? Pay you, you, you pay two dollars and fifty cents. You buy yourself a Metro card to get down on the D train and get a look at what's down there, okay? And, and tell me that women are all looking hot for their husbands. You're right. You're absolutely right. They're not. Then why do we just waste That's fourteen and a half minutes of airtime? I agree with it. Well, why do we just but waste this airtime? You were trying to tell me it's not true, but the real truth is not that it's not true. It's that you don't understand why it's true. That's Who cares right. why That's it's true? I don't care that. why it's true. It just is true. It just is okay. true. It's just true. That's just the way it is. It happens. It's happened to more people I've seen than I can care to count. Hello. <laughs> but I mean, the I fact feel bad. that you live in the United States and you don't know this is blowing my mind. And who really cares why it's true? It just is true. Exactly. And the reason 78% of the women in the survey said they'd rather have a million dollars than Jennifer Aniston's body is very simple. If they had a million dollars, they wouldn't need Jennifer Aniston's body. Or what if they don't think Jennifer Aniston's body's all that great? Then, then why would seven? <laughs> that that's I mean, possible. I wouldn't take the million dollars. Over that is body. possible, and we already body. dealt with that. I said that we. I'd rather get somebody much younger and hotter for the survey question. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess we, Women's Day. Woman's Day decided that this was somebody that the, the broad uh, spectrum of mostly older bags who read Woman's okay. Day would find her to be an attractive woman. Wonderful. But but that aside, I dealt with that already. If 78% okay. said they'd rather have a million dollars, chances are they're saying, if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't have to look good. I have to look good because I don't have a million dollars. My only hope of getting a million dollars is looking hot. There you go. And they'll still be unhappy. It's just... That's, I don't care! Oh, my God. Give me yeah. a million dollars. Uh, trust me. Arthur Webb, if you get married after hearing this conversation, I swear I'm coming over. I'm bringing Dean with the Louisville Slugger. If you are not learning from this conversation, young man, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I, I still just listening to the whole conversation and how she was like, oh, I just don't get it. I'm, it's not, I'm not buying it, and oh. I know... It, I get it now. It's not that I don't oh, get it. She it's gets it wanna... now. Thank God she gets it now. My God. Oh, jeez. Oh. Tom. 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 Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866.
This is my Sunday theory. It's delicious as soon as you get it. Leave it out in the sun for a few hours and see if you still want to eat it, because that's what happens to a hot chick over time, okay? It becomes a big mess, okay? It gets all over you, gets in your hair, it's a mess, it's on your clothes, and you don't know what to do about it anymore, you know? Just throw everything away, just don't do it. Just break, if you have a girlfriend that you feel like you love her so much, dump her, dump her today. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at one 800 500 tom In case you're just joining us, we are talking about a survey done by Woman's Day magazine. 78% of the respondents who were women said they'd rather have a million dollars than to have a body like Jennifer Anderson. I say, sure, that's true. Because if you had a million dollars, you wouldn't need to look good. Tara on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I love you. I just want to say you're brilliant. You are making two points for the men out there. Not only are women fat after you marry them, but they're only out there to get your money. That's right. So I just wanted to tell you I love you. You're brilliant. And you're right. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Thank you, darling. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Alyssa on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I wanted to call it and say that I would only take a million dollars over Jennifer Anderson's body because if I had a million dollars, then I would be able to actually work out all day and do all the yoga classes that I want to do, and I'd probably look better than Jennifer Aniston by the end of it anyway. Well, that that might be true, but you have to agree with me. The main reason that women uh, voted so overwhelmingly is because if women had a million dollars, they wouldn't have to look good. Definitely. All my friends that got married, except for one, gained weight. There's only one girl that got married and then lost weight. That was it. And so I totally agree with you. That's exactly why women get married and they can do whatever they want. That's right, dear. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out old school? Yes, of course I could take you out old school. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, David. Hey, I was thinking about it, and, you know, if the woman's going to take a million dollars, I mean, you you only really need a thousand dollars to spend, it looks, you know, better than Jennifer Aniston as it is. So, I mean, what are these women going to spend the money on? A million dollars? Well, I mean, they'd be set for life. They'd have retirement paid for. They could uh, buy a house. Uh, I, don't, I think they'd rather uh, go out and find a man to pay for that. Maybe spending a uh, well. I think they they, they find a man if they if they can't find a million dollars on their own. One thing I know for sure: women are the cheapest creatures on earth and the laziest creatures on earth. If they could get a million dollars delivered to their front door, then they wouldn't have to find a man, wouldn't have to work out, wouldn't have to go to the gym, wouldn't have to diet. So true. And I think at the beginning of the week, uh, I heard a caller say that um, he was watching uh, the Real Housewives of Orange County. Yeah, and I I turned it on last night and I was disappointed. I mean, I can't even classify them as cougars. You know, I mean, they're, you know, they have okay faces, but they're kind of thick. You know, I mean, I think I saw one hot mom on there that was maybe you know forty years old, but the rest are kind of plump. Yeah, there's a lot of that. It's sad. I mean, especially where I live. You know, I mean, all these you know money hungry, fat women out there. It's sad. Yep, I totally agree. All right, well, uh, can you take me out travel style, Tom? I certainly can. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. Kota lenenge, asika mama. Boya kota lenenge, asika mama. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here's Heather on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Heather. Okay, here's, I'm not going to waste 14 minutes of your time in denial. Thank you. All I have to say is I agree with you, but it just goes to show you how retarded most women are in Orange County or L.A. Because if you took Jennifer Aniston's body and you're single, then you would score a guy who would probably pay more than a million dollars when you divorced him, right? If that goes along with everything that you Well, I, I, assuming that the guy had a million dollars, face it, not every woman is attractive enough to attract a million dollars true but if she you know if that's your whole argument like if she looks good to attract the guy to attract the bank account then well she's got the bank right i would take jennifer anderson's body 
I already have an okay body. And really, I mean, happiness, I, I used to be heavier, and now I'm thinner, and I'm way happier, and I wouldn't trade that for anything. So I think these fat heifers, if they wanted a thin body, they'd be happier, and they'd get the money anyways. That's my own opinion. But well, I think, I right think that and takes and too much work for the average that. woman. I think the average woman would like to have a million dollars to live into her front door. Maybe my publisher's clearinghouse or somebody. Well, yeah, and all these women, too, who would take the million dollars and say, oh, yeah, I'll work out. I'd have all the time to work out. No, you wouldn't. Come on. That's right. If you're not going to have, if, if you're not going to make a resolution to do it in the new year, you're not going to do it. So, period. Well, uh, again, I, I, I don't think anything you're saying is disproving my point here. one eight hundred five eight hundred 800 tom John on the top like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom, what's up, buddy? Not much. I got to say, I just got to go back to the wedding cakes and something you said about the gyms. Uh, I've been a personal trainer for about seven years. And uh, honestly, the biggest clients, and I mean, of course, literally, you know, the biggest clients are usually two types. Uh, usually the type that's about to get married, you know, trying to get, uh, get the fiance and get engaged and they're ready to go and they're ready for that wedding. And then as soon as they get married, they're gone. You know, they split, and uh, I don't hear from them. And uh, then the next type is the uh, divorce or the one that's single and comes back to me, you know, 200 pounds uh, later and comes back, and I'm back in business. There you so go. I just had a comment on that and just tell you that you're right on the mark with that. Yeah, see, yeah if you go to a gym, you can see this for yourself. Yeah. yeah oh, you see, that's all, I've, uh, that's all I've been working with. That's all I see. Yeah. All the time. And that's so, the point I'm trying to make. Anybody who's been to a gym, they know what's going on over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can tell just by looking around. That's and, right. Uh, you'll still see the ring on them sometimes, but they might be separated. That's right. <laughs> Take me out with the bong hit. All right. Here it comes. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Barrett on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey there, Tom. Hey. Hey, long time listener, first time caller. Yeah. All right. So just to to prove that you're absolutely true is I have one of my best friends. He's been engaged for about five years now, and the thing is, is right after he got engaged, this girl does nothing. She she goes to work, comes home, sits and watches TV all day. And he's every time I talk to him, he's depressed because this girl doesn't go to concerts with him anymore, doesn't want to go ride bikes with him, doesn't want to do anything physical whatsoever. He actually finally got her to get a gym pass, and I think she went for about a week and then stopped going completely. And I, I've known this girl for about 10 years, and let me tell you, she's put on at least like another 100 pounds. And it's it's really sad to see that, but I mean it's it's completely true. They just get comfortable and they just don't want to do anything else, you know. I do know. Yeah, I, I always say the reason when you go to the gym, you have all these, uh, uh, you have all these uh, women there, is because uh, they've all broken up with their boyfriends. They're all out of relationships. They're all going through divorces, or they're all those perennially single girls who have that flop sweat. You know, they feel the the stink of death on them. You know, the women who are constantly going on singles cruises and going to clubs trying to meet guys. That's who's in the gym. Yep. You don't see happily married women at the gym. You just don't see it. No, not at all. And, you know, I actually have something else that, you, you know, you should maybe check out. There's this website called uh, GiveInc.com. I just came came about it on the other day. But uh, it's basically a, a, a website for people that set up profiles, for girls to set up profiles, like MySpace profiles, yeah. with, with PayPal accounts linked to their profile to get donations to try and get tattooed. So these girls are pretty much whoring themselves out on the Internet <sighs> for guys to pay them to get tattooed. But is the money really going to tattoos? I don't know. Yeah. But you should definitely take a look at it because it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Makes a lot of sense to me. Thank you for the call, Barrett. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.